Here's the question you might see on the test, which validates your knowledge of the application. Counselor Smith is attempting to generate the list of students from P1 class assigned to her for counseling. Select the most effective way to do it in Microsoft Excel. You're presented with the snippet of data on the left. The data contains full names of the students, class ID in column B, and then counselor's last name in column C. And there are four different choices to choose from. Use formula VLOOKUP with the particular syntax. Choice B, apply filter in column B, then select checkbox containing text P1. Choice C, filter by P1 in column B and by Smith in column C using a quick filter. And then choice D, use formula select with the particular syntax. Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the right answer. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. To solve this challenge in Excel, you need to use Quick Filter. As you can see, because of these icons, Quick Filter was already applied. To select Counselor Smith students, we need to select P1 in column B and then select Counselor's last name in column C. Let's recap. The correct choice here is choice C. Filter by P1 in column B and by Smith in column C using quick filter. Columns B and C needed to be filtered using a quick filter to accomplish the objective. Now let's look at why other choices are incorrect. For choice A, VLOOKUP formula only returns one value. Choice B is incorrect because not enough information is supplied in the filter to select the correct values. And choice D is incorrect because select formula doesn't exist in Microsoft Excel. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test.